Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today, it's the finale of this four-game set between the Miami Marlins and the Cincinnati Reds. Reyes, the National League's leading hitter to this point, takes his swing. Next. Luis Castillo, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What's your take on him, Dan? Yeah, Matt, his last start wasn't very good. Knocked out after three innings and took the loss. They're expecting much more from him, and he needs to get off to a flying start in this one. Now batting, Starling Marte. First at bat for him as he enters play number three in the National League batting race. Marte. First pitch of the at bat. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the first pitch today is taken for strike one. And guys, these Reds, as they enter play here this afternoon, they continue to fall on hard times, losing again last time out, and that makes seven losses in their last eight games. Yeah, Matt, if it hasn't been the best of times, D-Row, they've lost the first three games of this set at home, and the last thing you want to do is get swept in a four-game series at home. You need to win this one. Yeah, it can't happen. You can't get swept four games in a row on your home turf. Watch for the manager to make He's going to make moves, and he's going to make them quick. I don't know what they're going to be pitching, hit and run. Something's happening today. And here's how the visiting Miami Marlins will line up in this one. Mark, how do they go about breaking out the brooms on the road? Are we still a big believer in batting average, Matty? In today's game, I I'm more interested in the OPS number. But that's not to take anything away from this offense. They lead the league in batting average, and what that tells me is they're getting a lot of guys on base. There's a lot of guys with some good approaches and good plans today. See if that leads to a bunch of runs. First offering on its way. Hit toward the right side. Oh, it takes a nasty hop, and he's unable to haul it in. Somebody's going to be icing their thumbs after this game. That's a jam sandwich, but able to mix in a knock. Standing in, Matt Chapman. He's definitely a long ball threat, currently third in the National League in that category. Set and the pitch. Fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. He'll be kicking himself tonight if he doesn't come up with a big knock right here. That pitch was in a hittable location and a hitter of this caliber usually doesn't let that go by. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Not in time as he steals second. Well, he's certainly doing his best to get his team out to an early lead. Picks up the single and then decides that's not good enough, so he swipes second to get into scoring position. Now we'll see if the guys can pick him up. Let's get it together, Red. You can do it, Red. 1-1. On. Well hit out to straightaway center. Eaton racing back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And he'll make it up to third on the fly ball as he's in there now with two away. Right fielder. Coming to the plate now, Franz Reyes. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First pitch on its way. First pitch changeup chops foul right at the plate for the first strike. Taylor at third with two away. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Line to the right side, but foul. He wasn't fooling anybody with that fastball. 
He barreled it up nice right there. He's just got to find a way to keep it fair. The 0-2 delivery. And he fouls this one off. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. The 0-2 once more. It's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Marlins leave one. Now it'll be the Reds' turn. No score. Sandy Almanza gets the starting assignment for the fish in this matchup. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you want to know if this guy's one of the better pitchers in the league? Well, how about this? Batters are hitting under 200 against this guy for the year, so he's done a good job against both righties and lefties. And I'm looking for him to be just as dominant in this one. Leading off for the red. Striding into the box, Adam Eaton. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. These Marlins, as they take the field this afternoon, they come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, Maddie, this team's coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell the look in their eye. They feel good about where they're at. They've won a few games in a row, and they look to continue that trend today. you got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitter's meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Here's another 0 2. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. Time now for a look at the hometown Red starting lineup card in this one. What's your take as they try to get back to their winning ways, D. Rowe? Well, Maddie, we learned in spring training this is an organizational mission to lead the league in walks, create constant pressure on the pitcher, drive his pitch count up, foul off that tough two-strike pitch, find ways to create opportunities to score runs. This team is a nightmare for the opposing pitcher to deal with. Here comes the first pitch. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. The 2-0. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. There's Joey Votto as he gets ready in the on deck circle. The three zero pitch is swung on and missed. Strike one. Miss with that one, it's ball four. A one-out walk here in the home first. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And standing in is the on-base machine, first baseman Joey Votto. From the stretch. A knee high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. And there are our umpires for this one. Working balls and strikes will be Mr. Daryl Parker. Hey, not a very big strike zone, but a strike zone that kind of moves around a little bit too much for my life. Yeah, Dan, I know there's not a clear scouting report with Daryl. I'll tell you what, you're going to know in the first two innings where he's going to be. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussion at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. In now, Eugenio Suarez. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. The average sitting right at 270 on the year. 
and even 20 home runs and 65 RBIs. 0 and 1 here it comes. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Two out with the man at first. And a sinker called strike three as he's rung up and the side is retired. One left for Cincinnati. Still no score. Stepping into the box, Jorge Soler. First pitch coming, here it is. Here's a pop up now. Herrera is underneath this one, and very quickly, one gone. Time for a look at the Cincinnati Reds on date. And let's take a look at third baseman Eugenio Suarez, one of the more underrated players in our sport. Big time power from the right side, ability to crush a hanging breaking ball. Also soft hands at the hot corner. Very reactionary down there and a strong arm. Stepping up to the plate, Garrett Cooper. He begins playing this one with his batting average over the 310 plateau. Here's the pitch. Line to the right side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Sometimes you just got to trust your hands. That pitch probably wasn't even in the zone, and he was able to fight it off for a base hit. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. The average at 284 to begin play. Ten home runs and the RBI counted 35. Come on, Red! Swing. A swinging strike and now it's 0-2. for the punch out and the offering line drive to center field Eaton is there two gone stepping in Ari Perez a couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game Here comes the first pitch. A swing and a miss at a ball down. When a guy's featuring big time velocity like this, you have to be on the fastball. It's your only chance. You'll tip your hat on some nasty off speed stuff, but you got to be ready for the heater. All right, Red. 0 and 1, here it comes. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0 and 2 now. Here it comes on nothing and two. Hit out towards second. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. One left for Miami. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's the second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. They'll start us out here in the home half of the second. Second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A bouncer up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out their half of the second inning. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. 
That'll bring in Philip Urban. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Grounder down the line at third. But uh, this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Can't get him to chase. It's 1-2. and two. Jeanette on at first. Nobody out. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. All right, here's the defensive alignment for the Miami Marlins. And let's take a look at Starling Marte, another one of those super athletic outfielders of the new regime. Ability to cover ground, can play multiple positions in the outfield, hit in the middle of the order. Ready now, Tyler Stevenson. And for him, you have to think a turnaround is coming. Clearly not going his way of late. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Runners on first with one down. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Hey, as a hitter right here, you can't be leaning out over. I know those first two pitchers were in the outer half, but nothing saying he can't ride a fastball in right here. Here it comes, 0-2. Ooh, good changeup. Just missed inside. Love the execution of that changeup, but hats off to the guy at the plate right now. That's a great take in this situation. Maybe bought himself a fastball. The one-two. Bouncer to the left side. Oh, and that's knocked down. And they'll wind up with no play here as he reaches first safely. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. In now for the Reds, Wilson Herrera. Only one hit for him in his last four ball games. First delivery to him on the way. Chopped weakly to the left. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. Adding nine, so here's the Reds pitcher, Luis Castillo. Trying to hang a zero, here's the pitch. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Bottom of the second here with no score. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in the run. And he's down on strikes, so they get two men into scoring position, but that's as far as they'll get as the side is retired. Red strand a couple. will move to the third with no score. Welcome back to Cincinnati for Major League Baseball on MLB Network from Great American Ballpark. Set to get his day started, Sandy Almanza, batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. First delivery to him on the way. Very weakly on the ground. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So with one gone, let's take a look at the standings in the National League Central as we see where the Reds find themselves entering play today. At the plate, Starling Marte. He hit the ball hard, but lined out to start the ball game. ready here's the first offering 
skied into straightaway right. Irvin moves over, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting, touchdown, Brendan Taylor. Digging in for his second at bat, Chris Taylor. Pitch on the way. And a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. Hey, he gets a pass right there for that ugly swing. He's been having a monster season. Take a step out of the box, regroup. He'll get right back in this A.B. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Line yeah. towards center field. Eaton is there and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. One, two, three, go the Marlins. Home half of the third coming up. No score. In now is Adam Eaton. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Adam Eaton. Here comes the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Ready with the 0 1. A breaking ball over the outside corner for strike two. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Another strikeout for him on the mound and boy is it fun to watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt Matty he's one of my favorites mostly because of his stuff. You know he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. He drew a base on balls his first time up. The 0 1 on its way. And it's fouled away. And he is in complete control now. Seven strikeouts as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about seven Ks that were just in the middle innings of this one? If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. Now to the plate, Joey Votto. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. Oh, man, he's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. And he falls behind 0-2. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. So add one more name to the record book here as he strikes out this side on nine pitches. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. No balls and a strike to count. Shot down the line. Well, that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. So, with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And boy, which of those two numbers leap out at you there? How about the 100? My goodness. Acknowledge it, yeah. Been a 
So here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Franz Reyes. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, what a pitch to start the at bat there. It's nothing in one. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. Goodness. 0 oh 2 now. Hey, after that terrible swing, you find yourself down 0 2. Step out, deep breath, adjust the batting gloves, flip a coin, and go all in on something. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And a swing and a miss, so the NL's leading hitter is set down on strikes, and there are two gone. Wow, talk about going about, down. How about two fielding. strikeouts on six pitches? He isn't messing around, and these last two batters have had no answer for what he's throwing up there. In is Jorge Soler. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Check swing, but he held up in time, ball one. Boy, a check swing on a pitch way out of the zone. Just held up, but boy, as a pitcher, you're hoping that he swings at that one. That's it to short. Does he have another one, two, three in? He does. Eight in a row he's set down, and the side is retired. Miami down in order. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. Reyes is after it. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The batter number three, second baseman, Scooter. At the plate, Jeanette. Scooter Jeanette. He singled his last time up. First offering on its way. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Jeanette playing here in his age 29 season. This is the first year of his new four-year contract. And I can't tell you what that means for a ball player. To be able to know you're going to make your home for many years to come in one community. You can invest in the team, invest in the community, and really, really plant down roots. This is an unbelievable opportunity. Ready now for Cincinnati, Philip Irvin. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a strike. All one's the count. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Awfully oh, close with it. the slider there, but it's one and one. Can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball. That hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it, fouling it away. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Reds are down in order through four. Still tied, nothing, nothing. Digging in, Garrett Cooper. He reached on a single in his first try. Garrett Cooper. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a shot out toward the alley in right center. 
Around first, digging for two. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. That was a pretty good fastball, and it almost got by him. But he's able to slam into the gap in the right center field. Because of the velocity off the bat, the outfielders couldn't cut it off in time and allowed him to cruise into second really easy. Digging in the switch hitter, Patel Marte. And he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first run. Yeah, great RBI opportunity here. But at the very least, he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that in a tight game can make a big difference. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Pitches away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. And a good throw gets him one gun. The captain, number 13, Ari Perez. Digging in, Ari Perez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swinging a ground ball to third, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now the 0 1. Rip down the first base line. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. The pitcher, number 22. So here now is the pitcher, Sandy Almanza, runner in scoring position with Sukan. First pitch on its way. Sliders in for a strike. Men on third with two down. Takes this the other way to right. Irvin is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Marlins leave one. Halfway home, still no score. Into the box now, Tyler Stevenson. For the red. Catcher. He's ready. Tyler Here's the first offering. Stevenson. The breaking ball that time in for a strike. Now the pitch. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Can you boys say next? Who's next up to back? Because this guy's done. You cannot fall down 0-2 to one of the better pitchers in the league and expect to get a base hit. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Now at the plate, Wilson Herrera. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. He's set. Here it comes. A knee high sinker. Tough pitch. Strike one. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Hard hit ball to second. Throw gets him. Two down. Now batting. Edgar. At the plate, Luis Castillo looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. And that one just missed outside. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. The 1 0 home. There's a fastball looked at for a strike. The pitch. That's and he lays off for a ball. Two and one. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. 
He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. One, two, three, go the red. Sixth inning coming up, still zip, zip. Here's Starling Marte. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Center field number six, Starling Marte. First pitch of the at bat on its way. The change up that catches the corner for strike one. To me, getting ahead 0 1, it, it's the most important pitch in the game, Maddie. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1 0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on a swivel. Now the 0-2 pitch. High and deep to left center field. Looking up is Eaton. Gone to lead off the inning. It's a solo shot for Starling Marte. Number 21 for him on the season as the Marlins will take a one to nothing lead. And this is an all familiar sight, something we've seen all season long. When they need a clutch hit or an offensive blast, He's their go-to guy, and this is just one example in a long line of many. He's fun to watch. Stepping in now, Chris Taylor. Chris Taylor. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Let's go, Red. Swing. It's 1 and 2. The count is 1 and 2. middle that's through and he's now two for three in this one so a ground ball single up the center of the diamond makes it two hits for him on the afternoon and as you take a look there at the team leaderboard you can see he tops all Miami Marlins in that department up next from Miami Matt Chapman 0 for two on his line thus far Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. One ball has already left the yard, and the big boys haven't even come up again. Get the fireworks ready. Now a move over to first, and the runner back safely. Set with the 0 and 1. Uh, had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. Usually, you see chases outside the zone on off speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. Ready with the 0 2. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. 
Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough goal that at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Standing in now, Franz Reyes. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. He's going, he's going, he's going. Runners off for second. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. One one is swung on and missed for strike number two. Now you could just see this guy out on the mound right here. Just the body language. He knows he's on top of his game. Executing a nasty slider down the way right there. Giving this offense no chance. Able to protect the plate with two strikes and he'll see another one. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there, but if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down, maybe even potentially bounce the next one. He'll try again, one, two. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. In is Jorge Soler. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. No hits to this point. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Marlins are on the board first thanks to the solo home run. Bottom of the sixth coming up. It's now 1-0 Miami. In now is Adam Eaton. He'll start the inning and move back to the top of the order, but they haven't looked too dangerous in this one yet. Right, guys? Well, none of them have any hits yet, so you're right on the money. They've done a great job of holding these guys down so far. Another opportunity for him here, so we'll see if anything changes. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Throw down to first, one away. So stepping in, Jesse Winker, who was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Looks at a curveball on the outside corner. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Looks at a sinker over the inside part of the plate. Winker swings the bat and throws from the left side and stands in at six foot three. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. Got it. As he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. This is the kind of the bat where your hitting coach grabs you on the way back to the dugout to have a little chat about your approach. Not a lot of positives to draw from that at bat when you take two strikes and then you chase one out of the zone to go down on only three pitches. In is Joey Votto now. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Come on, Reds! Come on, Joey! Hit hard! 
First pitch on its way. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will. Just to the right of the chalk of fair ball. And he will pull into second with a two out double. So some life with two away as he's into second with the opposite field double. And as we check out our team leaderboard we see that his total is good for second best on this Cincinnati ball club. So striding in Eugenio Suarez as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. the lead here's the delivery and he'll start the at bat with a slider that didn't miss by a whole lot it's ball one and this is just off the outside corner ball two well two and oh now and this is where he makes his money if he gets a pitch to hack at you can bet he's not going to hold back two and one Oh man, he took a swing and a half at that one. I think some frustration is creeping into these guys, so he might have just been trying to get his guys on the board with one swing. Now a slider misses and then pushes the count to three and one. Votto stands at second with two gone. He loses him on ball four. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Here's the second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. One for two. He singled and grounded out so far. Here comes the first pitch. Knee-high slider that he takes a look at. The Reds have been searching for that big hit all game long. Let's hope they can get it. They're starting to run out of time. It's about time for something to happen. The 0 and 1 delivery. Outside for a ball, 1 and 1. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1 2. Fouled off. Two men are on with two men out. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. And he's going to add to the total. 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning. Red strand a couple. It remains 1-0. Back here at Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. It's on to the seventh inning with the Marlins on top, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings of play. Ready for another shot now. Garrett Cooper. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Irvin has a beat on it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Digging in once again, Ari Perez. First offering on its way. 
This one's down to third. Suarez loves it. On to first, and they don't come any easier than that. A three-pitch inning, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Marlins. But they're up one to nothing. Into the box, Philip Irvin. He'll be the man to lead things off here in the bottom of the seventh. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. I know it wasn't pretty right there, Dan, but that has to frustrate the pitcher. Leadoff guy, anytime he gets on, usually creates a problem. You know what, Dero, it's especially tough when you get as late in the game as we are right now. Anytime you get that leadoff guy on and have that pitcher start pitching out of the stretch, it always puts more stress on that pitcher pitching out of the stretch. Quick check on that tying run at first. Runners back. A one pitch on its way. Fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he fouls this one off. The 0 2 once more. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So he's still got his shutout working here in the seventh. And with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And as you see, he's right up there among the league leaders in that department. So a big moment here and standing in Wilson Herrera and he does so representing the possible go ahead run. Here comes the first pitch. Missed with a slider. A great take on that slider away right there. But I'm thinking in that situation that pitcher's got to execute a little bit better. That was almost a non competitive pitch being outside. You could almost have let that one go right out of his hand. Here it comes, 2-0. Oh. There he goes. Pitch misses low. The throw down. He's not going to get him as he swipes second. 90 feet is a big deal when you're talking about a one-run game, so that's a little risky. But, hey, sometimes you have to be aggressive and force the other team to stop you. Here it comes, the 3-0. Oh. Finds the zone, strike one. I got 3-1. Three, three balls, one strike. One pitch is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Irvin, the runner at second, with one away. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. Yasiel Puig will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 66. Yasiel Puig. And that slider's almost in the dirt. That's wide, 2-0. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. And that's by him down the line in right field toward the corner. And the run will score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. You know, d Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sinking putt. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. A ball and no strikes. Oh, 
one and zero delivery. Change up in for a strike. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. The one one home is belted and take a look at this deep to right center field and it's gone. It's a two-run shot to right center. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And it gives the Reds a three-to-one lead. You can call it unfair or just the breaks of the game, but up until this pitch, which was a big mistake, he was throwing a gem. Now he looks up at the scoreboard and he's trailing. That's demoralizing, but he's got to forget about it quickly. Into the box, Jesse Winker, as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Flipped out the other way towards short, and this will be pulled in easily for the final out of the inning. But they strike for three in the inning, two on this two-run home run. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now three to one Cincinnati. David Hernandez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. David Hernandez. Ryan Zimmerman is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Cue shot here out towards short. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. There's the look at the final line for the red starter. It was a really nice day on the mound for him. Here's Starling Marte. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. The last at-bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. 0-1 the count. The 0-1. Way in front of that fastball. Ready on 0 and 2. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. A look there at the numbers for our two starters here today. With both guys recently departed from the ball game and looking on from the dugout. Ready now for the Marlins. Chris Taylor, career numbers with David Hernandez. He's just one for six. Now the pitch. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. Line towards center field. Eaton will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Miami down in order, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Justin Wilson is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Justin Wilson.
trying to pick things up where he left off. Joey Votto will try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Set and the pitch. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Wow, there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely do you see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle. And boy, he took that one. He'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. Votto behind, but still dangerous even on 0 2. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Here's a look at the final line for the Marlins starting pitcher and he'll be very happy with how the day went. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Eugenio Suarez. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Swing high drive left field and deep but it bends just foul into the second deck. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. Strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. In now, Scooter Jeanette. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Lifetime numbers against Justin Wilson. He's done well. Six for 13. The 0 1 on its way. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0 and 2. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there. A ball and two strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Rysel Iglesias comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Standing in, Matt Chapman, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. They've done a real nice job keeping this guy into wraps in this one. No hits for him so far, and what stands out to me is they're going right after him. They're not pitching him like they're afraid he's going to do any damage. Down the third baseline, Suarez ranges to his right on the first, and that is a big out to start the night. The right fielder number 32, Ron Reyes. So striding forward now, Franz Reyes. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Now here's the pitch. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. Hey, hats off to the pitching staff right here. They've been able to hold a hot hitter in check in game four of this series. The wind up and the 0 1. Rounded down the third baseline. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. 
And he'll strike out here yet again. As it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Wow, he's just a lost cause in this one. That's the fourth time he struck out in this game alone. And that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you can have. Stepping in, Jorge Soler. Though we discussed his position in the batting race, we haven't seen much production today. Opposing pitching has to be credited in keeping his bat in check. Yeah, they've definitely kept him off balance, but as hot a first half as he's had, it only takes one pitch over the heart of the plate for him to get right. And he'll put this one away, and with that, the ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this game. Three to one, the final score this afternoon. Cincinnati used a three-run seventh to help propel them to the win. Luis Castillo earns win number seven on the season. Sandy Almanza racked up 15 strikeouts, but still ends up taking the loss. Rysel Iglesias hammers down the save, 19th of the campaign. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. This is Matt Vaskersian, and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. See you next time. Quite a line score for our ball game this afternoon. For the victorious Cincinnati Reds, three runs, six hits, no errors. They left five men on the field. For the Marlins, one run, five hits, no errors. They left four men on the field. Time of the ball game: two hours and 42 minutes. A reminder that post-game Metro bus service is available to Anderson Township, Cobblewood Plaza, Kenwood, and Western Hills Plaza.